Hey, welcome to another video. So if you saw my video a couple days ago about Lemon One Festival, this is the deck I said I was going to be playing. Now I have made a couple small changes just because I was messing around with other decks and I ended up crafting some cards I thought might be fun in here. So crafted a copy of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. So that is one addition to the main deck. I believe I took out the Solemn Judgment. Now Solemn Judgment is perfectly fine. And with this event, it's kind of a play what you got event. There's, there's all sorts of crazy URs and I don't know if it makes sense to craft them specifically for this uh, for this festival, but hey, if you like them, you should craft them. I think Ghost Ogre is a good card. I might try playing it on ladder just to see how good it is. Uh, in the extra deck, also one addition. Took out the uh, level 7 Synchro and put in a Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. This card's pretty hilarious. If you synchro, if you link summon it with a level 7 or higher monster, it can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. Pretty useful. Uh, can be difficult to out in a one of festival. People just might not be able to find an answer for it. So uh, it's also pretty easy to make in this deck. I know uh, Teus is a one card way to, to make the uh, the Black Luster Soldier. You also might just end up with three random monsters on the field and you want to link into something good. Hey, he's got 3k attack. And uh, when he destroys a monster, you can make him gain attack or banish or get a second attack. Like, hey, he's got a lot of features. So that's the strategy here. Now, I think that's... Where we're gonna leave it deck list wise if you like this sort of content give this channel a little subscribe give it a like down in the comment section below leave a comment tell me what you want to see next all right let's go to the gameplay in the real limit one festival opponent is choosing to go first or second now when i was playing this deck before i played it in the actual diamond tier list and it did okay it got wins it is an amazing obviously the lack of uh, consistency is a bit of a, a big deal but Hey, you, you do what you do, and it's pretty fun. I have been playing this event, and I do like the the lack of consistency. People are just doing random stuff. Well, let's see what our opponent's up to here. We don't have any hand traps, sadly, but we do have Diva. We got White Stingray for our turn, so that's some ways to interact. Unfortunately, White Stingray discard doesn't trigger the Atlantean Marksman. That is a, an awkward interaction due to the placement of colons. When you, you can special summon this card by discarding a monster. Whatever the way this effect is worded, that's not a cost. Uh, opponent is thinking. Uh, opponent set a single back row and passed us. All right. Well, let's see what we draw here. A deep sea aria. That could be interesting. Uh, we already have deep sea diva in hand. Now, if we diva summon and it gets negated, we can still white stingray. So that's not the end of the world. We could also Abyss Pike discard the Prince to pop this. That might be safer. Use our Diva when we know she's not going to get interrupted. All right, let's go for that. Let's Pike, discard Pike, discard the Marksman. Our opponent can choose to activate their trap now, but if they don't, it's going to get popped. Okay, opponent chose not to do anything. So we're going to add the Abyss Nine to hand. Marksman is going to get popping. Opponent can respond here. It's a compulsory evacuation. All right, that's fine. Glad that it's the, and we also get a special summon here of the Abyss Dine. Abyss Dine's effect can miss timing, but I do not understand how that works. Sometimes it doesn't uh, resolve, but looks like this time we're able to summon it. So we have used our normal summon, but opponent has another response. Maybe an effect failure. All right, so we can activate Deep Sea Aria and search for something, but what are we gonna search for? Probably a heavy so we can pop. All right, let's special summon here, the White Stingray. Discarding this Dupe Frog. Dupe Dupe. What do you got, opponent? An Imperm, an effect failure maybe? I can only, I can't imagine it's anything else. If it were max C, opponent would have activated it already. Uh, we've added cards to hand, it could be a draw on Lockbird, man. No, they would have activated draw. Draw's a on search effect. All right, let's activate this, see if they get a hang. We're gonna banish. 
probably the marksman here. This is a hard choice, but uh, if we draw a frog, we'll want that frog in the graveyard. Oh, opponent does have a response. It c I think it's an imperm or uh, an effect failure. That's my guess. And we can add Prince to hand. If we think they have an effect failure, Prince might be a good add, but I think it's better to add heavy here because we're going to want something to discard. Okay, let's special summon the Abyss Lacia. Yeah, opponent can negate this, but if they do, that's fine. She only activates on opponent's turn anyway. Let's get to battle. Come on, opponent, let us battle you. Come on, come on. She's just reading. We, I, I strongly discourage reading opponent. Don't read anything. You're never gonna win if you read. You, you're gonna, you know, you gotta act surprised. Oh, we're in battle phase, so that means it is very likely an imperm and it cannot be an effect failure. All right, let's toggle on here. We might want to pop something face up. So let's let our opponent have their turn again. It could be something like Numeron, Numeron uh, Field Searcher, but I, I feel like it's got to be Imperm. See what opponent does here. We're gonna wait till they put something on the field before activating Abyss Lacia. Because then we'll get the. If it is an Imperm, then he won't have a response. Because Imperm can only be activated from the hand if you have uh, have nothing on field. Opponent is drawing a card. Uh, opponent's going to standby. Probably thinks we have a Max C. We do not have a Max C opponent. Opponent set. Uh, opponent is ending the main phase going straight to end phase all right let's activate the the diva here we're gonna discard the abyss pike and get Teus. uh do we want megalo i think we want Teus. actually there's no uh yeah probably would have been better ah uh, well you'll be learning i think would have been better to get Teus there here's a ronin totem uh, Teus discarding Ronin will let us uh, summon the Ronin back to the field. That could be useful. Let's do that. I want to try and have opponent use their interaction if possible. We still got a normal summon. Let's activate Ronin in Graveyard. Banish that frog that we saved earlier. And let's make the coral. Do we dare? Do we dare make the Black Luster Soldier? If we play Diva and Diva gets negated, we still get Black Luster Soldier. You know what? Let's let's go for it. Um, I'm gonna save the heavy in hand so we have something to discard with Abyss Lacia. Let's Diva. Is that the Imperm opponent? Is that the Imperm? It is not. What does opponent have set? All right, let's activate here. We're gonna send Dragoons, add the Atlantean Dragon to hand. Dragoons is gonna search. I don't think we're gonna get five waters in graveyard, so let's get Me Megalo. Let's make, oh, there's so much we could do. We can straight up just make Baron here. But if we make the Tatsunoko, then we have the follow-up play of, yeah, we have the follow-up play of, of something else. So let's make Tatsunoko. Tatsunoko is here, looking cute. Now let's special summon Baron using our Tatsunoko, using the Poseidra in hand. Baron is ready to go. Let's pop that back row.
it was an ordeal of the traveler. Glad we popped that. That would have been very annoying. All right, we could still make. Oh, opponent is opponent done? Don't be done, opponent. Come on, let us finish. Opponent's disconnecting. Uh, okay, well we got him. We had him. We had lethal there. If opponent didn't have anything else, that would have got him. I wonder what was holding priority in their hand. Let's take a look at their deck and see if we can find out. Okay, so opponent's deck has Max C. They have Ghost Ogre. They're running 60 cards. Are they running Grass? Imagine running 60 cards. Running 60 cards in a 1-0 festival and not running Grass. This is some next level insanity. What could opponent have had? Could have been a Maxi. Uh, couldn't have been that. They have a lot of Kaijus, but I don't think it was a Kaiju. This is, what a pile. What else could it have been? They ha they must have Imperm, right? Yeah, it could have been. It must have been Imperm that they had. I don't know why they wouldn't have set Imperm, but this deck is hilarious. Opponent just has dozens of traps, barely any monsters, a wacky extra deck. All right, let's go on to the next game. We're going first this time. Up against a cute little jackalope pet. And a boy. All right, let's go. Pray to the random gods that we get a good hand. All right, this is pretty solid. Let's activate Foolish Barrel Goods. Foolish Barrel Good is gonna let us send an Ice Barrier to the graveyard. Ice Barrier we can activate to search for a water monster. Uh, but I think what we're gonna do first the water monster we search for has to be above level five. So I think what we're gonna do is make a toad with Bahamut Shark, and we'll save this in case we need a Kaiju or something. So we're gonna Ice Knight. Ice Knight lets us additional normal summon, but uh, so let's use that effect actually. Uh, it'll lock us into waters. It will lock us into waters, I think that's fine. We're not summoning anything else from our hand anyway. Let's just use uh, let's use Silent Angler, just in case. And we'll, we'll hold on to that Ice Barrier. And we're gonna make the Bahamut Shark here. We'll make him in defense mode. We'll detach. Detach the Ice Knight. Get a Toad. Toad's here, spread in fear of his negate effect. All right, now we could make a uh, drill drill driver Vespa, Vespinato, but I don't think we need to do that. I think we'll save him if we want to make Toad again, and we'll pass the turn here. Still got our effect failure. See what opponent gets up to. Opponent is activating Pot of Desires. That's gonna draw him a lot of cards. Two cards, in fact. Do we wanna let him draw two cards or would we rather hold on to our Toad? I think this is a two for one and we get the Pot, so let's do it. Getting rid of the Toad here. Take our opponent's Pot. Toad's gonna activate in graveyard. We can send something back to the hand. Let's let's send uh, yeah, let's send Ice Knight back to the hand here. We could get extra value out of our Ice Barrier later. And we can also use Ice Barrier to send Toad back to the grave ex back to the extra deck. Uh, opponent is summoning a Zodiac Thoroughblade. That means this is Zodiac. He's going to go into Dryden. But Dryden doesn't have enough attack to get through this Bahamut Shark. If he tries to pop with Dryden, we can affect Baylor. Uh, opponent plans on making a Zeus here. Going to attack directly. This has got to be the Zeus play. That's fine. So we can 
I mean, if he activates Zeus with, and has a bunch of materials, we can fish for... Well, first of all, we can affect Valor it. Uh, and if he attacks, activates it a second time, we can we can do our plays on our turn. Uh, we can also use... Okay, he's going to pop right now with the, with the Dryden. Let's make him... Oh, not even going to pop with the Dryden. Going straight into Zeus. I would have popped with a Dryden opponent. He's just going full ham on materials, so we're probably going to fish for a Kaiju here with the uh, Ice Barrier. And we're going to do it on our turn, even though it locks us into waters for a whole extra turn cycle. See if opponent activates now or if he waits till our turn. Now he's popping. Unfortunately, Effect Failure only works in our opponent's main phase. So we're gonna lose our we're gonna lose our call by the grave. Uh, opponent did not discard the Zeus or the Dryden. So let's activate the call by the grave now. Um, actually, let's activate Ice Barrier now. What's, what do we have in hand? Ice Knight. Hmm. This is tough. I think we need. Yeah, I think we need the Kaiju. So we're gonna activate Ice Barrier now. Make our opponent wonder what's going on. And we'll activate the Call by the Grave in response. Oh. We don't need to activate Call by the Grave. That was a mistake. I thought the Call by the Grave was set. It was in our hand. That was a big mistake there. All right, that's fine. We didn't need Call by the Grave. We're losing our uh, access to the Pot of Desires. All right, and now we're gonna add the Kaiju. But if we Kaiju, we don't have a way to do anything else. So we can Ice Knight, but then we're out of other plays. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I think we just have to hope he can't kill us and then hope we draw something next turn. Yeah, I think that's what we're hoping. All right. Hope opponent can't get lethal. We gotta draw a play, because if we if we throw our hand out here uh, and he Zeus's us, then, or like if we throw our hand out here and he just kills our, our Ice Knight with the Kaiju, that's not great. So we need to do something better. We need one additional card. We need one level four monster. Opponent's just probably gonna attack us here. They drew an effect Veiler. Not sure what they plan to do with that. Is he detaching with Zeus? I'm a little confused. What are you doing, opponent? He's trying to send his effect filler to the graveyard? Why would he do that? That does not make sense. I'm a little confused by that, that play. Opponent's saying they don't want, he doesn't want an effect filler. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused by that. All right, well, opponent just flexing on us, I guess. All right, there we go. Now, we'll Kaiju him. Yes. Get rid of that Zeus. Get the Gamisiel. And we got Monster Reborn. We're gonna reborn a monster here. What are we gonna reborn? We could reborn our pop, -a pop effect. That seems pretty sweet. Uh, that seems pretty sweet. All right, let's Monster Reborn here. We're gonna get Silent Angler onto the field.
We're gonna summon Ice Knight. And we're gonna go into our boy, backup boy, Stealth Dragon. Uh, Stealth Dragon has the ability to... Shouldn't have placed him there. Now we can't Link Summon. Once per turn, pop. He also makes all monsters water. Let's go to battle. And let's see if the opponent can do anything uh, to deal with this. If he gets destroyed, he's going to summon another Kraken, and we can once per turn pop any any monster he summons. So if he summons another Zodiac, although that's not as great now, we can pop it. It's a Frankatops. All right, what are you going to do, opponent? Is the tribute a cost? Quick effect tribute, Dino Wrestler monster, target a card on the field. Yeah, okay, the tribute's a cost. Let's activate the pop here. Opponent's gonna pop. It's gonna destroy our Stealth Kragen. That's fine. Stealth Kragen gets destroyed. And Stealth Kragen's gonna activate. And he's gonna special special summon his Kragen spawn. Get him out of the extra deck zone. And we get to attach a monster as material here. I don't think it matters which monster is the material. Uh, it's funniest if it's Toad. So let's attach Toad as a material. Opponent activating another pot. Gonna draw two cards. Opponent's got pots for days. Uh, I see, he can recycle a Zodiac. That's clever. So if he draws another Zodiac here, he can do it all over again. It's a Fairy Tale Luna. Uh, this has been normal summoned, and it's activating the effect to add a Spellcaster monster to the hand. Uh, he can also quick effect. I don't think we care about him having a Spellcaster. Let's let him have that Spellcaster. Familiar possessed area. I'm only gonna set a card. I'm only ending the main phase. What are you doing, opponent? Uh, opponent played around effect failure. Very clever. Toad gets sent. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey! It wasn't just clever. Toad gets sent, so we can uh, return a monster to our hand. So it made sense to have Toad there. Very nice. What are we going to add back to hand here, though? We could add the Silent Angler. Silent Angler can special summon itself from the hand. Ice Knight, also an option. Ice Knight can allow us another additional normal summon. We can get our Kaiju back, but then we have no plays. I think we're going to get Ice Knight. He has the most attack points. Smart of opponent to play around effect failure like that. All right, we draw White Stingray. White Stingray is good here. So we can Ice Knight normal summon and then just make our Stealth Kraken again. Um, I think that makes the most sense. Yeah, I think that makes sense here. Let's just do that. Normal summon the Ice Knight. Ice Knight effect activate. If he negates this, we can still White Stingray from hand. Opponent with the Ghost Ogre. All right, opponent's got hand traps for days. Uh, now we can summon White Stingray here. Um, but we know our opponent has, we know our opponent has the Fairy Tale Luna in hand. So it's not great to special summon White Stingray. And we don't have any plays from the graveyard. It does hurt our opponent though. It might come down to damage at the end of this. Let's discard Poseidon, get White Stingray on field. Damn, that Ghost Ogre really got us. The double pots, I think. The Pot of Avarice was really good. He's also reset his whole extra deck. Uh, opponent's searching for Fire Formation ten Tanky. 
adding a Zodiac to hand. That's bad news for us. He's going to Zodiac chain all the way back up into Zeus. Alright, I think we can safely concede here. The pot, the pot was, uh, what did it? Pot of Avarice. Maybe a, a pretty solid card to have in this format with the one ofs. Alright, we just got got by Pot of Avarice, so we're going to add Pot of Avarice into the deck. Took out the, took out the Mori of Greed. Put in a Pot of Avarice. Let's get back to the tier list. Alright, we got Call by the Grave. We got Foolish Burial Goods. We're going to make a Toad here. Let's start by activating Foolish. See if our opponent has Ash or any other interaction. Doesn't look like it. And you saw in that last game... The uh, searching for a kaiju can be pretty sweet, but opponent can still uh, can still win. Just because you have a kaiju doesn't mean you're gonna win. All right, Bahama Shark online. Detach our Ice Knight. Get our Toad. We're gonna set Claw by the Grave. And we'll end the turn here. We can search for something with our Ice Barrier, depending on what our opponent's play, play is. Opponent summoning a Fairytale Luna. Going to activate the Luna. We pretty much have to negate that with our Toad, because we're going to lose Toad if we don't. So, negate with Toad. We're going to send Ronin Toad to the graveyard. Keep our Toad on field. Uh, apparently, you can activate this infinite number of times. Ah, that's... Oh, we got baited. The, the summon effect is the effect to... Oh, man, we got baited by the Fairytale Luna. We just saw it. The normal summon is the add effect. And the second effect is the one... To bounce a monster to hand. Uh, opponent activating Lord of the Heavenly Prison. All right, well, this is fine. We get our Toad back. Let's activate Ice Barrier. I don't think we're gonna be, I don't think we're gonna be needing a Kaiju here. Uh, might be useful to have a bit test though. If we draw another monster, we can make Citadel Whale potentially. How useful is that? Would we rather have Citadel Whale? We have in Graveyard. You know what, let's, let's put Citadel Whale in the Graveyard and get Ice Knight. I think that's better than, than Ateus. Ice Knight back in hand. Now we're locked into waters, but Ice Knight was going to lock us into waters anyway. Deep Sea Diva. Deep Sea Diva is pretty good. Let's activate the Silent Angler. Or activate our Bahamut Shark, sorry. Opponent has Effect Veiler. We can negate with our Call by the Grave, and we are going to do that. We would like to have our Toad. Our opponent has Solemn. Our opponent cutting their life points in half, though. We should be able to get Lethal from here. And unless our opponent has Nibiru or something like that, we should be able to get lethal. Uh, except, yeah, opponent's gonna lower the heavenly prison. I don't, I don't know if that matters. We should be able to pop that. He's getting a set, uh, set of trap, but he won't be able to activate it this turn. Setting a regeki. That's okay. We should be able to win from here. So we're already locked into waters. So it doesn't matter if we do this. We're gonna summon our ice knight. Activate the effect to get an additional normal summon. Normal summon Deep Sea Diva. Deep Sea Diva effect gonna activate, get us our Prince. Uh, we're gonna activate Prince. We're gonna send, I think we're gonna send a Marksman to Graveyard. Ah, uh, no, we're gonna send a Heavy to Graveyard, pop this. Get that out of the way. Uh, and then we're going to add the Poseidon to hand. 
pop that Lord of the Heavenly Prison. And we're going to special summon here. Special summon the Tatsunoko. Actually, this gets us a little bit of extra damage, doesn't it? If we make the, uh, the Marincess Coral, we can get Prince back. All right, we're going max damage here. Get this bad boy out of the way. We're already locked into water, so there's no, no punishment for doing this. Get us the Prince back on the field. And if we activate this, Whale, what do we summon from Graveyard? Nothing useful. Tatsunoko. We're gonna get summoning. And we're gonna use our Poseidon hand here to make the Sword Soul. Supreme Sovereign's Che Ying. Hey, we got him. Very nice, very nice showing from the Mermos deck. Uh, we had, I believe, Lethal. I, I, I wish my opponent hadn't conceded. I was about to see how much attack that was. Uh, but we'll check the replay and, and we'll be able to see. Uh, all right, good game. Let's do, oh, I really want to do one more game. Let's do one more game. We'll do one quick game. Okay, we got the Pot of Avarice. We got Swap Frog. We got Ice Barrier. Real interesting hand here. This is why I love this event so much. So much variety. Opponent's playing Jesper, Despia. Despia is quite strong. A lot of the single card, searcher, starter cards are really, really great in this format. Also, any deck that uses Ecclesia gets a huge boost. Ecclesia is just like a backup of whatever you're doing. Uh, opponent's playing the Despia Theater. They're going to Fusion Summon. Iris Sword Soul. Making the Masquerade. That's going to deal damage to us every time we think about doing anything. We got a Monster Reborn. Interesting. So do we want to use our Monster Reborn to get Iris Sword Soul? I mean, I think we do. I kind of think we do. I think it's worth it. I think we're going to do that. And then we're going to get... Uh, we're going to get Toad. This is going to be expensive, life point-wise. Let's get this Iris Sword Soul. Onto the field. Uh, we can also summon this. Are we going to be able to get an attack in? I think we are. Target an effect monster, special summon this card, negate that monster's effects. Ah, no, we won't be able to. Yeah, he's going to get a summon. Okay. So I'm thinking we might be able to use Marksman and get an attack through. But uh, he's going to get a Jesper at Despia. So I think we're going to want... I think we're just going to want to get Toad. So let's attack through and then we'll make Toad second main phase. Now that we have the ability to make Toad... We are going to make Toad things. Interesting that he didn't activate the effect of the Jesper. Oh, he needs to have uh, an effect monster on the field to target. So he couldn't he couldn't activate. Learning all the rules of this game today. Let's send that Ronin Toad to the graveyard. Bring our Swap Frog back to hand. And special summon it. Get our last frog out of the deck. That do frog. Get do frogging. Make our totally awesome. And we're going to set Ice Barrier and... Oh, do you have Nibiru or something? Oh. Uh, special summon this card by Banish it. And your punk. 
if your opponent controls a blah 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 and this is in your grave, you can special summon it but banish it. Uh, do we have to give up our frog for this? I think we do. We don't want him to have that card. Actually, no, we don't. We don't. We don't need to negate this. We don't need to negate this. He can have this. Because we have Ice Barrier. Alright. Maybe we should play another frog in this deck. So we could have searched something with Toad. But I don't think there's another good frog. That's the problem with a singleton format. There aren't enough good cards. Opponent playing the Feather Duster. That's actually fine. We kind of want this Ice Barrier in our graveyard. Uh, it does mean that he can attack over our Toad now. Uh, opponent got the Sword Soul, Taya. This is degenerate, degenerate gameplay. Opponent's gonna activate this. I'm not sure why they didn't just attack over with a Masquerade. Uh, we're gonna activate our Toad now. Toad gonna negate. We don't want him Sword Soul summoning. And we can get his Taya back on our side of the field. That'll protect us a little bit. And we're going to activate our Toad. Toad gets to return a monster back to the to that hand. Um, I think we kind of... Thinking about this. Maybe I should have left stuff in here. We're going to use our Pot of Avarice. And it might be good to leave Toad in here and get... We aren't going to have something to discard. We don't have any frogs left to send. Let's get Marksman back to hand. Marksman will let us pop a face down. We search for a, a water monster like Teus with the uh, Ice Barrier. I want to gonna kill our Sword Soul that we are borrowing from them. Opponent's setting a card. Well, we're gonna pop that set card with our heavy here. So let's let's activate, get the Teus. Okay, we'll pop this back row. Then we can activate Pot Avarice. Hey, and we drew the Kaiju. Very nice. Well, let's not pay life points for things when we can uh, we can Kaiju. Thank you, opponent. Just gonna bore that real quick. Uh, and let's activate our Arteus here. Discard the Marksman. Pop that face down. Get out of here, opponent. Uh, and we're gonna add the Abyss Pike to hand. Pop that face down. It was a super poly. Glad we got rid of that. Uh, and then, do we? One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's activate pot. Pot avarice. Get drawn. Put our frogs back in the deck. We draw one water monster here, which we have a good odds of doing. We'll be able to. Okay, here we go. Play the best pike. Activate effect. Discard that Aqua Spirit. Add a Abyssine to hand. Abyssine gonna summon itself. And I'm pretty sure. Oh, we're locked into waters. Oh, I was so I was so excited for a second. I thought we might be able to play. Uh... For a second, I thought we might be able to do something amazing, but we're gonna have to settle for something just semi okay. Oh, also we, we summoned awkwardly here. Okay, so what are we gonna do? We can coral an enemy and then make a, a rank four. Yeah, okay. Yeah, coral an enemy. Activate. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> oh no, we can't get a level four. We don't have a level four with low, low enough attack points in the graveyard. All right, this is fine. This is fine. We meant to do this. This is what we wanted to do. 
This is to totally what we wanted. Uh, let's end the turn here. We forgot we were locked in the waters. That's okay. See if opponent tries to sum summon anything. If they try and special summon, we can uh, start maxing. And if they attack over our Bislacia, then we get uh, special summon anything from our deck, basically. Opponent's thinking about life. Going straight to battle. Probably going to kill our Coral Anemone. Anemone is down. That's fine for this turn, opponent, but what about next turn? Opponent's setting. They got back row. Do we search for a mermail here? I don't think so. All our mermails we'd want to search for are in our deck. Or in our graveyard, sorry. We got a tin goldfish. I don't think tin goldfish is going to be particularly helpful here. I think we should save him. Save him for later. Let's end the turn here. See if our opponent has any surprises for us. We still haven't, the whole D.Va package is still in the deck. Not drawn that yet. Oh, opponent going for it. Gonna attack our Abyss Lacia. Just what we wanted. Abyss Lacia gonna activate in Graveyard. Unless this is called by the Grave. We're gonna get some pretty exciting things happening. All right, so do we wanna just get an, get an Ice Barrier? What do we have in hand? 10 Goldfish? I think that's, that's the most hilarious thing we could do, is just get an ice, uh, an, a barrier statue. But we could also get a uh, Citadel Whale. Citadel Whale can attack over this. That that seems more sensible. The sensible choice. Get our Citadel Whale on the field. He can attack over this boy, and uh, he can, if he gets targeted, he can negate it. So that, that's, that's more sensible. That's the responsible decision. Getting a barrier statue would have been funny, though. Opponent going main phase two. Can try and special summon opponent. Opponent setting. Setting more back row. Opponent is afraid to activate effects. We draw an Ice Knight. Let's summon the Tin Goldfish here. Tin Goldfish effect going to activate. Let us special summon Ice Knight from our hand. And we'll not lock this into waters. What are you doing, opponent? Opponent's thinking. Thinking, do they want to negate this? Deciding against it. Opponent, if you target any of our water monsters with an effect, they're, they're going to get negated. Uh, I think... We got Toad in our extra deck. I think we want to get Toad back. Although we could get Stealth Kragen. I think we're going to get Toad. Toad round two. Would you like a second taste of the Toad opponent? Activate the Bahamut Shark. Detach that Ice Knight. Get Toad. Toad round two. And we can make Zeus at the end of this, too. Yeah, assuming we get an attack in. Change to attack position. I think we want the... Desposito. Desposito is going to give us a second monster that can attack. It will stop us from making Zeus, but I think it's better. Eh. Alright, we've already committed. Desposito. Desposito cannot be protected by Citadel Whale's effect. What do you got, opponent? Nothing so far. Get attacking with the Citadel Whale. Get attacking with Toad. Opponent is low on life points. Let's end the turn here. We got Maxi. We got all our boys. 
I wonder if that kaiju was was slowing our opponent down somehow. Opponent ending the turn. Is this it? Is this game? Drawing a buzzsaw shark. We'll save that for main phase two. Well, let's go straight to combat. See what opponent's got here. Nothing so far. Go for the best Bazito. Best Bazito attacking. Is this lethal? Oh, we got him. Very nice. Playing against the... I don't know what you'd call it, but... Despia something else. Let's take a look at our opponent's deck list. Very glad we added that Pot of Avarice to our deck after getting beat. So our opponent's playing Sword Soul, Tenyi, Spirit, <laughs> uh, Ecclesia. So I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I think you've got to pick one. I don't think you put all of them together. I think you got to pick. I think if you're going to play Sword Soul, uh, I think if you're going to play Sword Soul, then you don't play the, de the Jesper of Despias because... Sword Souls need a high density of worms. If you don't have a worm in hand, you're not going to activate Moe's effect. If you don't have a worm in graveyard, you can't activate the Taya's effect. Um, you saw that opponent just summon that Taya and couldn't do anything with it. Opponent just playing so many and 44 cards. Come on, opponent. In this this event of all events, you think people would want to play the, the the 40 cards with the extra cards in in the decks here? It's just it's just silliness. Uh, take a look at our opponent's extra deck, uh, but yeah, I'm having so much fun. This event is great. It's so fun It's like just the variance level is crazy high. Let's go back show off the final deck list that we ended up with and uh, Have a chat So here's the final deck we add in the pot of avarice if you got a pot put it in if you don't have pot You know do whatever you want a lot of these cards um, Are ours so if you have them already, it's good if you've been playing water deck you got Bahamut shark So that's great um, we didn't get to summon Black Luster Soldier, Sacred Soldier. Um, I feel like we're going to make him, though. I, I don't think I summoned him today. But but one day we're going to make him, and he's going to be amazing. Um, yeah, we are getting locked into Waters often. The Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign is definitely a key a key piece uh, in this deck with all the things that lock you into Waters. Ice Knight, the Ice Barrier locking you into Water for two turns, the Emergence Coral, and having plays that you can do. When you're not when you're locked into waters and not worry about it is it's pretty sweet also our one swap frog putting in so much work that was awesome so anyway having lots of fun hope you're enjoying this event and i'll see you next time next time i'm gonna be playing i think dinosaurs so tune in for that dinosaurs is pretty sweet let's go